strap. This is going to be a very quick video, just an FYI, and for those who wanted to know more, you can go ahead and enter your questions in the comment box down below, and I'll try to answer it as much as possible. So if you want more travel tips video, um, informative videos when it comes to traveling during this new normal, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Okay, so for today, we're going to discuss about the updated baggage information for Cebu Pacific. And this is very timely for those who are traveling during this new normal phase of our lives. <laughs> okay, so in the homepage, you just have to go down, scroll down, and you'll actually look or you can, you know, click this link, baggage information, and you will be redirected to this page. Now, there are a lot of sections here, hand carry baggage, um, check baggage, special baggage, and dangerous goods. But, what I'm going to focus on are hand carry and the check baggage. So, first, the hand carry baggage is like what you see here. Every passenger is allowed for one carry on as long as it's 7 kilograms. So, meaning, sa isang tao, sa, uh, and when it's, I say isang tao, that is the person who actually paid for a seat, yung nagbayad ng upuan, meron siyang allowed na one carry-on baggage, and you have to make sure na yung dimension niya is within this criteria. So, 56 cm by 36 by 23. Um, and, there are still some exceptions, no? Uh, you can actually have an extra bag if you are a parent or a guardian and you're traveling with the children. Um, if there are medical related and there are items purchased inside the airport so that is after na no mga security um, diba? you go to the check-in counter and then you go straight to a gate not really the pre-boarding gate ah. yung gate na may security that you have to um, yung kailangan mong pumasok dun sa malaking machine nila na i-scan. So, yon After that, yun, pwede naman yung mga binili mo dun, you can actually carry that. Um, any items purchased inside the airport, of course, of course you will not have any time to um, to put it in your check-in baggage. Tapos, small bag that can fit under the seat. So, technically, yung carry-on or hand carry mo can be two bags, pero yung isa, is very small lang. Yung siguro yung mga very crossbody, um, yung peg lang na, alam mo yun, yung pwede. But, what you have to really remember is, it should be a total combined of 7 kilograms. So, if you have 2 items or 2 bags, then, of course, 7 kilogram lang ang total. So, yeah. So, next topic that I really wanted to delve into is the check baggage. So, if you can remember and if you're a follower of Cebu Pacific in their social media pages, they announced that March 2022, only one baggage piece for 32 kilograms and 20 kilograms. But, it's a good news that they actually changed it again. So, yung effective April 2022, ayan, this is the most updated um, baggage policy. So, remember, upon booking, you have an option. If you are going to purchase 20 kilogram, 30 kilogram, or 40 kilogram. So, just to explain, starting sa April 1, yung mga 20 or 30 or 32 kilogram only one bag baggage lang yung allowed pero if it's 40 kilogram naman you are allowed to have maximum two baggage but make sure that the maximum weight of each baggage piece is 32 kilograms so I had this incident when I was traveling from Greece to Manila um, yung baggage umawad ng 40 kilograms so it's a global policy pala na 32 kilograms lang per piece because of safety reasons na din on your um, luggage. 
So yan. Um, when it comes to the check baggage, baby strollers and walking canes are check in for free. Dangerous items that if you want to, you know, um, further uh, be informed about the list, just click the dangerous baggage or dangerous goods um, link here. And for baggage protect, um, if you chose to purchase that, well, congratulations. During the unfortunate events, you are insured and you can get um, this amount as long as the incident is within the criteria of the travel insurance. So, yun, um, this policy might change in the near future, but if you travel today, so as of, you know, March 19. Uh, April 2022 pa ang one baggage piece. So, um, if you have a travel tapos you have 20 kilogram lang, so pwede pa yan to check in baggage. So, just take note and please make sure that you are updated then sa kanilang policy because it's really important now that we are traveling in a different times. So, I hope that I explained it well. If you have any questions, feel free to enter it down below. Thank you! So, I hope you find this video very informative. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you! And see you soon!